everyone, it's Rachel and I'm coming up to you with a patchouli chocolate soap. Um, this one I've made before. I plan on keeping the same colors as before. However, I'm going to just change the design. Um, I'm hoping to do kind of like a little bit of a, oh, what do you call it, a little bit of a tiger swirl within the batch. Just a tiny one. And I'll be using the tall skinny mold. I have a blend here of um, that pretty color. Uh, a blend of chocolate and uh, chocolate fragrance oil and patchouli essential oil. And my lye just has silk in it. And of course, because of the chocolate, this is definitely going to discolor to a dark brown. So I'm just going to color, uh, sorry, I'm just going to fragrance one part of it and the white and gold that I'll be using won't have the scent in it. Also, because of the discoloration, I'll probably wait a while before I post pictures um, until it discolors properly so you see the end result. And that's it. I'm just going to buzz the, uh, the oil so that I get uh, all my additives mixed in really well before the lye goes in. In case there's anything clumping. All right. And my temperatures are in the mid 80s. my gold. And my white. Just going to uh, let's put it in. Oops. I love this blend. the white here. I love golden soaps whenever they turn chocolatey color. And it's just fitting with the scent too. The patchouli doesn't overwhelm this scent with the amount I have in, but it complements the chocolate really nice. Hi, I'm just jumping in real quick. And this is a shout out and a thank you to Megan who loves to watch my videos and she actually watches them with her three boys. So a shout out goes to Brandon, Malcolm and Harper for watching. Love you guys and I hope you keep watching. So let's get back to making some soap. So I've got my tall skinny mold and I'm going to prop it up with my tape. All professional like just like this. Now I've got to do it at an angle I can work with. Hopefully you'll be able to see. Um, yeah. So I'll start with a little bit at the bottom here.
I'm already getting a little thick here. Nothing major. But it won't give the same effect as what I'm really, really looking for. But uh, it'll still work out. Figured it was time to make another batch of this. It's uh, the nice warm months. Warm months. The cold months are coming. The warm months are over. And this is definitely one of those cozy, cozy scents. And I have to take care of my patchouli lovers, including myself. Now, for the rest, what to do there? I wonder if I should do it in the pot swirl if it's too thick. I think what I'm going to do is, I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, I think I am going to do it in the pot with the rest of it. Oh, I don't even have you in the camera. Whoa. Okay. Let's put this here. pot thing was not planned so you know um, we'll see what happens with it I don't see much going on underneath it was kind of thick so it's not going to the bottom if that makes any sense Bang this really good. Okay, so now what do I do at the top? So I'm just going to put a little bit of white on here. I'm 
just going to drizzle some of my gold mica on here. That might be pretty once it turns darker. I think I like it just like that. Not a whole lot of fussing. Just going to pound it down again. And I'm going to find the right spot. I think it looks pretty. Now it's to wait for all the color changes to take place is going to be a surprise. So stay with me for the cutting everybody in just a couple seconds. So the gold and the white will stay their colors and the rest of it will turn um, a brown color. This isn't giving the exact look just yet. So I'll wait as long as it takes um, for it to discolor and uh, post those photos at the end so you get a proper clue of what it is really like. Love this soap. So they all pretty much look the same. There's not a whole lot of difference I'm seeing right now. But it got too thick to really do the tiger properly. So that got kiboshed. And it behaved nice. It didn't, um, it didn't gel on me. Now one thing I, I have found using chocolate fragrances or coffee fragrances or mochas um, some of them tend to be very stubborn in blending and often will separate from the soap and ooze. So that one you got to be very careful to really make sure you're blending in your fragrance well. Even that isn't a guaranteed success of it not separating and oozing from your soap. But that's just one thing I've noticed with those types of scents. They can be persnickety. I don't know if anybody of you, any of you soapers have ever uh, noticed that. So in those instances I really don't want it to gel just in case it causes more separation, if that makes sense. So yeah, surprisingly they all look pretty much the same. Identical almost. But I really like the swirl. It's cute. Simple but cute. And these will be ready in the store in four weeks. So that would be uh, about October 23rd. And I don't know when I'll get this listing uh, post, this listing, this uh, video posted. Two weeks before I get uh, edited and listed, I'm not sure. What is it with the listed? 
uploaded. Oh. So anyways, that is all. Those are my little babies. Just like that. So thanks for watching everybody. And uh, please leave me your comments. And if you haven't subscribed, I'd appreciate it. Because there's always more videos coming. Alright. Bye for now till the next one. Oh my, it does smell good in here.